Hey guys, today in reading we are going to be doing pages 197 and 198 that go along with the story that we read on Monday or yesterday. So, The Extra Good Sunday, I hope you like that story. I like that one. I think it's a really cute story. Alright, so we are looking at words that have the ER, the IR, the UR, and the OR. So we're going to read through those words together. And then you're going to use the words in the box to find where they, which line they go on down below. So the first word is curb. Like you guys know a curb is part of a street, right? A worker. 30, this is the number 30. Nerve. And that can be a nerve in your body. Okay. Or it could be if you get on somebody's nerves. Okay. Um... Or if you're ner if you maybe don't have the nerve or you're too scared, you don't have the nerve to stand up to somebody. Okay? A couple different meanings of that word. Furry, germs. We definitely know about that word this year, don't we? Curves. You know what curves are? And then birth. Okay, so when you're born. All right, so let's just do one of these together because I think you guys are gonna do great on these. So the road, number one says the road blank up ahead, so be ready to turn. Okay, so which one do you think it's going to be? The road, hmm. I'm liking this one right here. The road curves, right, up ahead, so be ready to turn. So you guys will figure out the rest of those. I like to just put a check mark by them after I use them. Okay, and then I will meet you on page 198. All right, we are talking about past tense today. And we have talked about this before. When something is, is in the past tense, it's already happened. Okay, remember we talked about present tense, which is happening right now. Past, if something's happened in the past, it's already happened. And then I think earlier in the year, we maybe talked about future tense, which means it hasn't happened yet. So let's read our directions. It says, most verbs show past tense by adding ed. So I take a word and I add ed to it to make it into the past tense. Then it says, some verbs end with e. Then you have to drop the e and add ed. Okay. So we're going to be on the lookout for those. So let's look at the first example. It says, they allowed us to cook alone. So the word was allow, and then they turned it into past tense by adding ed. So they allowed us to cook alone. Okay, the next one says he needed. So the word was need, but they changed it to needed eggs for the recipe. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Evan's parents liked our cooking. This is one of those ones with the E at the end. Remember, because the word was like. So I had to take off the E, then add ED. Whenever there's an E at the end, you don't want to put L-I-K-E-E-D, right? So watch for the ones that end in E. Like I can, I'm looking down right now and I can see that there's one right there, Okay. So it says, write the sentence using the correct past tense of the verb in parentheses. Okay, let's do one together. Evan blank his parents to send him to cooking school. And the word is want. That's the word that I'm going to be adding the ed to. Okay. And I see there's not an e at the end, so I'm going to change it to wanted. Okay. And here's what I'm going to do, guys. Since the lines are kind of small, I'm going to be really nice here. I'm not going to make you write the whole sentence again. Thank you, Mrs. Hagen. So you can just, whatever, when after you change your word, I just want you to come down here and write the new verb on the line. Okay? Nice, right? You don't have to squeeze it onto that little line, and then you also don't need to write the whole sentence. Okay? Thank you, thank you. Finish up that page, and that is our literacy. Thanks, guys.